Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Friday morning here at the ranch. It's just over 80 degrees and it's sunny overhead. I got up early this morning to get going here on lots of projects. Let's head on over to the garage. The first thing I really do want to complete is to wash the 06 Duramax. I've been putting lots of miles on it, driving down some dirt back roads, and it is just covered in dust all over. You guys can actually see a little bit there in the bed as well. Now, one thing I am looking into doing is switching out these aftermarket wheels. I really want to try a different brand and also a different style, and you guys have uh, definitely want to see that. So let me know down below, guys, what brand we should get. Now, we'll just kind of park right out front here. Uh, we do have the Karcher over there. Now, I really do appreciate all the support here. Later on today, we'll have a video talking about the huge announcements, what I've been working on for the last number of months. Hope you guys are excited there. But let's go on and get in this thing washed here. Really do like it. Uh, this paint just shines when it's fully detailed, and uh, this thing looks awesome already. But yeah, definitely new wheels and tires. Now, I do also want a two or three inch lift on this as well. I think would be a really nice add on and make it look even better here. I think it's just not a high enough for us and we definitely need to fix that but let's put that back there and we're good to go we'll just let this dry off here let's hop on the Mahindra we'll go check on the animals and then we'll get going on the first project now with the ranch here we are always busy every time we come out here and it's just awesome though to have a great time with the family and also to uh, kind of get some work done as well and really make this ranch our own Really quickly, we'll check up here on the chickens. They've been doing really well. I really do like having uh, fresh eggs in the morning when we're here. And uh, we do bring the boxes back to the house. Those look to be pretty good here. Same with the horses. And uh, wow, that is awesome. Three horses is a lot of work. Uh, but the kids do help out. The wife rides them around. And we do like that. But the first thing we will be doing is a pretty huge one. We are building ourselves a boat ramp. And you guys have been asking for a boat ramp in the backyard. And we need one here. We're about to take everything out of water, and we definitely need a uh, ramp to do. We can't really be doing it on the gravel. Last time, the wheel started to spin here, but currently, you guys can see we do have our Everglade Center console and our uh, lake boat here, Mastercraft, along with uh, the jet ski here. Now, it would be nice to kind of get a pontoon boat, but we actually, a little bit uh, of a hint later on today, we are going to be looking at an older bass boat uh, to go on some fishing trips in some uh, kind of small lakes area. Areas. But let's hop into the store and get going. Now for this boat ramp, I do want it to be a pretty big one here. We don't want it to be too, too big. And I think that should be good right about there. Now I will have to say this landscape tool is so handy. I really do like it quite a lot here. Now we do want the ramp to be pretty steep. Uh, steep enough so that the boat just kind of slides right off here. But it is always tricky uh, to get uh, these boat ramps set up. So that looks to be good there. Let's switch over here and uh, do some texture uh, editing. I hope everyone's been enjoying all the videos here on the channel. I've been very busy here with school, but I really do enjoy uh, getting behind the computer and just making these videos. It's something that really uh, is a lot of fun for me, and you guys really do like it as well. Now, we do want a little bit of sand over there, so why don't we just do this? This will really help out. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. We'll actually go a little bit uh, wider over here, a little bit wider on the rocks on either side. So that looks to be good, and we'll just finish it off here with asphalt. Now, if we do end up picking up that boat uh, later on today I do want to try this out now we do want a little bit of concrete we don't want to be slipping and sliding on the gravel there we have it guys the backyard boat ramp is complete I really do like how wide it is that stone on either side really uh, does add on to the color here that definitely looks awesome and on this side it really does help out here but let's hop in the Mahindra head on out to the front yard and we'll get going here I do want to add lots of bushes and trees around we just uh, have a nice open land but I think having bushes and trees and just other shrubs as well will really just help out and kind of make the property even better there's just too much open grass although I like the open grass I think uh, having these would be a bit better here for us but it looks like we'll get going here on this lots that we have to get placed 
We'll first get going here on the spruce trees. I actually really do want to see if we could kind of divide up this property just a little bit. Uh, kind of make a little bit of an island there with trees. Really do like how that's coming out. Over here, I do want to add a lot of trees here, kind of dividing uh, this part of the land here. Just kind of a stretch it out like that. That way, it's not just all open. And that should be good to go there. We're on that side. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful. Now, we do want to come kind of right up close like that. Oh, yeah, that looks great. And over here... I think we'll add quite a few more. Up next, we'll be getting going here on these bushes. I think we'll probably just place uh, kind of a pattern of bushes all over. We don't, definitely don't want too many of them, uh, but we definitely want some of them. So there we go. We got some bushes over there. And let's see. Actually, we could probably put a few bushes along there, along this side. And oh, yeah, this is definitely already making look a lot better. Now, I do want a few trees in the center as well. Maybe. Oh, that's what we'll do. We'll make kind of a big kind of island here of bushes yeah that definitely adds a little bit up next we'll be adding some more bushes out front here i just want to put one every other in between here and just to add a little bit more privacy here for us and i think just having more bushes here will definitely look a lot nicer so we got some more on that side a little bit more on this side actually we'll uh, place quite a few there so that looks to be good and also i do want to put quite a few there so that looks to be good and a few more here just trying to kind of divide up the property and not just have all these same types of bushes and things like that here so we'll place a few more there and i think that's pretty much it actually we'll probably place a few over here there we have it guys as we drive around the property we do have a lot more bushes and shrubs along with trees and I definitely think that's going to really help out here with it but let's kind of get the UTV parked up and let's head over and see if we could kind of look at uh, this uh, boat here now from the marketplace description it is a 19 year old bass boat always been used in freshwater but it does need new engines so let's go take a look and they're only asking $9,500 here for it and we'll have to see now some Sometimes a 20 year old boat could look as brand new as possible either they just don't use it or uh, they take really good care of it and sometimes a 20 year old boat is something that you just don't want to uh, kind of end up taking on as a project but we could definitely rebuild those engines if they need to be replaced this winter that would be a pretty fun winter project. Now I do get quite a few requests to kind of use a bass boat here so I think this would be kind of fun uh, to add here and it's pretty inexpensive at only kind of $9,500 here but we'll have to take a look at it but he did say that it does at least float in the water so that's a big bonus there already at least there's no holes or any damage to the boat. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go check out my Instagram at Square2448. I do post every single day over there and some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And here we are. They do live here right on the same lake as us, which is pretty awesome. Now, here it is, guys. This is 20 years old. Whoa, look at all that wear and tear on it. Wow. It looks like one of these windows has a huge crack in it. Those seats need to be reupholstered. Wow, look at that engine. The entire bottom end is rusted. Now, he did say the small engine works but not uh, the big one here which is pretty interesting that looks like a pretty big 350 horsepower both of these are two strokes and we definitely want four strokes but wow this thing looks pretty a uh, rough condition here but i really do like the look of it, it looks like the uh uh, boat is in pretty decent condition though for it being 20 years old so why don't we buy it i'll uh, go uh, make an offer and do the paperwork if he accepts after a bit of negotiating, it is ours. $8,400 here. Now, I did kind of uh, try to negotiate a little bit lower. I just didn't really want to pay $9,500. So, $8,400 for this uh, bass boat here. Now, the reason why I, I got it lower was because I uh, said that the uh, trailer needs complete rewiring. And also, uh, the axle. The more I was looking at, the axle on the trailer needs to be replaced as well. So, this will be a huge project. Hopefully, we could at least see if we could take it fishing uh, this year maybe with uh, just kind of limping the engine along here but we should be good to go to get it attached now he did give us the keys and he did say that one of the engines does work here so I'm thinking why don't we go test out the new boat ramp and see what happens here not sure what's going to happen maybe it's just going to take on water here but we'll just give it a try and at least kind of see how it operates with that smaller engine now with this ranch here, I am trying to be as uh, kind of realistic, but also uh, to throw a bit of fun in these videos like these bass boats, kind of these barn finds uh, types of things as well. And definitely uh, we'll be doing some barn find videos with the main house as well. And it's going to be a pretty busy weekend here for us. 
Now, like I have touched upon, guys, I do have a huge uh, video coming later on today with the big projects that I've been working on here, and I hope everyone is excited here for it. But look at this, guys. This uh, boat really, really needs some work. The more and more I look at it, I'm like, wow, that is a lot of hours we'll be putting in, but uh, we'll probably drop the seats off to get uh, reupholstered, things like that. Maybe even uh, we, we'll just maybe buy new uh, four-stroke engines for it. That would be kind of fun. Let's get back in here first time getting to use this. Wow, this is a pretty wide boat ramp. And I did also let the neighbors know that they could use it as well. Let's get it back in here first time. Wow, look at that. Wow, that is pretty good here. Now let's see what we can do. Get it unstrapped here. And we do want the e-brake on. We definitely don't want to be calling a wrecker to kind of go fishing for our truck. And it looks like it's going to be a bit trickier. Maybe a little bit further in the water we have to go. And there we have it guys, we have it in the water, it looks like uh, the uh, big motor here is not spinning, so we only have a one engine, a very small one, and looks like the steering really isn't working here, wow, this is going to be a little tricky here for us, not sure exactly what's going to happen here, but wow, uh, this is a huge one, now let's kind of hop on out of this, we'll just quickly take a look, it looks like we are not taking on any water here, so the bones of this are good, but this will need lots of work here, so what I'm thinking for now, why don't we just kind of leave uh, the Duramax where it is, I do want to go out on the Everglades and have a little bit of fun so we'll just leave this here for now and we'll have to take it out of water but I do want to kind of see as well how it does with a few wakes but it is meant for fresh water going through uh, little areas not really meant for anything like deep water now I am a big fan here of the center consoles boat, but it, this is such a deep hole that having that small bass boat will be really good uh, for that freshwater fishing. This boat was actually made for saltwater, uh, being this Everglades here, but this is such a sweet boat. Really am excited uh, to have this. Now I will be completely redoing it this winter as well with the working engines that fold up and things like that here. And also uh, some uh, add-ons as well, which should be a lot of fun here. But out on the lake, just having some fun on this Friday uh, before we have to get back here to the main house. I hope everyone enjoyed today's video here, getting back here to the ranch. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.